Okay, uh, welcome to my playthrough of Final Fantasy VI. Um, this is actually my second time, not my first pl time playing it, but the first time was like 10 years ago or something, and I just zoomed right through it and didn't pay like much attention to the story, what was going on. Um, so hopefully this will be close enough to my first time that it won't really matter. You know, you'll still see like new reactions and oh my god what a twist to some of it so um yeah so let's go on and get started um yeah the ancient war of the magi when its flames at last receded only the charred husk of a world remained even the power of magic was lost in the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines took the place of magic, and life slowly returned to the barren land. Yeah, so this is a steampunk kind of world. Yet there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past and use its dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. What? Are you saying there's some evil ruler around here who wants to take over everything? That's crazy. In a Final Fantasy game? No way. No way. Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, so... This was on my list of games to play anyway, but a friend of mine uh, really wanted me to play it because it's his favorite game. So I decided to put that up next, push it up on the list. So here I am playing it. Wedge says, there's the city. Hard to believe an Esper has been found frozen there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Bah. Probably just another wild goose chase. I don't know. They wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident that the information was good. Ah, yes, our witch. I hear she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in three minutes. Kind of makes your skin crawl, don't it? And yet she is still going to be level one. Not like level 50. Relax. With that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. The girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. We will approach from the east. Move out! Okay, here we go. Sorry, just adjusting a little bit here. Okay, so walking around in our cool Magitek robot outfits through a snowy storm with some really cool music behind us. I wonder how long this goes on for. Oh, it's the credits. Okay. So probably goes on for a good solid minute here. Um, and I think I can skip the credits, but I don't want to. I want everyone to see our awesome graphic directors and producers and everything else because they deserve all the credit for making great games. So, thanks guys. Plus, you know, Nobu Uematsu. His music is pretty grand, so you should all experience it in its glory. Um, but yeah, so some things I remember from this game is that there is a very large cast of characters. Uh, as in a lot of Final Fantasies. Um, and then I know Terra is the girl that they're with right now. I know that she has some secrets of her own, like from where she came from. And I think those are like big secrets that you find out halfway through the game and it's like a big surprise. Um, so I'm not going to say anything because I, I know what that is and if you don't know then I don't want to spoil that for you. But honestly, you probably know by now, it's it's one of the, the big games that everyone likes to talk about, so. Um, beyond that, I think like the first person you play as, other than, than this section, is like a thief guy or something. I don't remember anything about his story. Um, there's an airship guy who dresses really cool. And then there's Kefka, the evil clown. 
And that's like, that's what I get. <laughs> um, I know some end game stuff about Kefka. I know. Actually, no, I think that's about it. <laughs> that's what I got for you. I'll probably remember a little bit more as we go, but maybe not. We'll see. The girl takes point. And don't waste time on the riffraff. Remember what we're here for. Let's move. Okay. Oh. The Esper's gotta be here. Let's keep looking. Okay, so I cannot leave. Okay. Can I examine anything? Can I go into... The Empire's got no business here. Oh, look at that little puppy. It's so cute. I want to pet it. Oh, I have to fight it. Okay. Um, okay, so it looks like I have... Okay, so the Magitech armor that I'm wearing has its own set of moves, and then, like, we have magic or items or whatever. Okay. Um, so no just normal attacks while we're in these suits. Okay. And those things went up this way, so... Let's see if I can... Nope, I cannot actually follow them. Smart on their part. Okay. Cannot fit these big ol' suits through there, so let's just go this way. Imperial Magitek armor? Not even Narsh is safe anymore. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what kind of stuff we have. We have a lot of really cool things. Um, Alright, let's just do a missile. Why not? Uh, thunder beam and... I guess ice beam. Okay, nice. The missile was really cool. And none of that seems to use any magic points or anything. It's just abilities that I can do instead of attacking, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, okay. This is as far as I can go. For Narsh! Um, excuse me. Let's just keep on attacking, I guess. Uh, well, can she do any magic? Okay, so she has fire and cure. Okay, so I'm guessing it's like, uh, black magic, white magic, uh, neutral magic? Like maybe, uh, stat buffs and debuffs, and then summon creatures? <laughs> That's my guess. Oops, I didn't mean to cancel out of that, but that's okay. Guess I didn't need to worry anyway. Okay, so- oh, okay. Still fighting. I thought I was gonna be able to move again. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, do a- ooh, a bioblast does both of them. Cool. Awesome. I'll just keep using that forever. And then, those guys came from this way. So let's see what's up here. Can I? No. Okay. Once more, I can't actually go that way. How about up these steps? Nope. Just straight up this way, I guess. Oh, we've got them trapped now. Yep, okay. Oh, and then they can surround us on both sides. Interesting. Good to know. Um. Okay, so how do I change which side? I'm okay, up and down. Left and right gets out of this, but up and down um, helps me change the side that I'm attacking. Good to know. All very good to know. Question mark gained a level. Good for her. Oh yeah, can I see? Okay, so she started at like level... Well, I don't know. I didn't check at the beginning. And I know they each gained a couple levels by now. So maybe she gained up to four, up to level four, just doing all this. Okay, I just want to explore. Let me go look at all this cool stuff inside this place. Not just stay on the single path you've laid out for me. Okay, I can go up these stairs. Defend the mines! What are those, werewolves? Do they send werewolves after me? Oh, big pig things. Okay. Can I get, like, a name? No. Oh, no, 
I don't want to actually run away. Stop trying to run away. Sorry, I'm just pressing buttons and trying to remember what things do. Um, I can probably find out under the config menu. Maybe. No, maybe not. Okay. Um, sure, this is all good. Sure. Ooh, patterns. Ooh. Yes, let's change this up. Um, I don't know. I kind of made my frame af based on these colors because I thought that's all I got. So I'll just, I'll keep it like this for now. Maybe I'll change it next time I record. We'll see. Oh, cool. We can actually, like, choose what music plays. Okay, well, I, I want whatever it wants to play, so I'll just let that be. Um, okay. Oop, nope. Out. Get out. Okay. Um, I think... That's all the, uh, the controls that we have right now, is just walking and the menu. According to our source, they unearthed the Esper in a new mine shaft they were digging. This must be it. Okay, and Espers, I know, are like the summon creatures in other games, um, I think. So they're like really powerful, godlike beings. Uh, made of, like, magic or whatever. A strange light fills the air. Do you want to learn about save points? Yes, please. You can use tents and sleeping bags and save the game. Um, if you're defeated, you will restart from the last place you saved. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, any gill or items will have to be found again, but your level and experience point total will not change. Okay, interesting. So if I, if I die and have to restart, then my level and experience will still be there. That's pretty cool. You can save anywhere on the open world map. Interesting. So yeah, let's go ahead and save. Boom. Done. Get out. Okay, random battle time. Cool. You will be able to enter battle commands once their window rises. Yeah. Okay, um, when selecting targets, move onto the monster and character. Yeah, okay basic stuff. Uh, let's keep doing Bioblast because it works really well. Ooh, except for on that guy. He likes it, apparently. That's good to know. Any rat creatures I see like Bioblast and will heal from it. Cool. Whoop. Okay, so that button brings up the movable. Okay. And that's where, um, I remapped the keys a little bit. That's where, like, the square button would be on the PlayStation controller. I don't remember what controller they were, they had this designed for, though. Probably not PlayStation. That's just a me thing. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, like, heal. Oh, hang on. I think I can make it heal everybody? No. Um, or if I can, I don't know what button to press to do that. So, fine. That's fine. Yeah, you guys just kill these things, then. Okay. Um... Sure, Ice Beam looks good. I think Fire did the best on these things. Yeah, I think Fire does best on those, so good to know. I thought I was going to have to turn around somewhere, but nope. I'll handle this. Stand back. You're going to cause, like, a collapse, dude. <laughs> We're going to make this whole place cave in on us. We're not handing over the Esper. Ymir, get them. Hold it. This thing's a... They must have trained it to guard the mines. Oh, they have a cute little guard snail. Great. I mean, cute. What are you talking about? You know what this is? You ever heard of a lightning whelk? <clears throat> no, I haven't. <clears throat> a 
It's a monster that absorbs lightning. Okay, so don't shoot lightning at it. And stores the energy in its shell. Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Got it. Or just don't, like, attack it with fire, right? Or with, uh, lightning. Hopefully it doesn't absorb bio. Okay, it does not. Um, rock. Ooh. Oh, it disappeared into its shell, I see. Okay, so it counters if you hit the shell. Oh, someone's dead, and I don't have any phoenix downs. Okay, I guess just defend. Uh... Screw it, I'll attack it with fire. Let's see what happens. If I die, I guess I die. Okay, yeah, it just straight up counters. Um, sure, do a potion on her. Maybe not, hang on. Uh, do healing force on her. Okay. Oh, I think I was trying to do potion on the dead guys. What happened? Also, cure, just because we don't have anything else to do right now. There it is! Hit it! So try thunder and see what happens. Okay. So it's just when it disappears, it'll do the counter. Otherwise, we can attack it with whatever we want. waiting again. Let's, uh... Oh, no! What did I do? Oh, I accidentally did auto. Crap! Not what I wanted at all. Dang it, guys. Well, there she goes. No, okay. Yeah, just heal yourself and heal yourself as well. Just wait around until it comes back out. Perfect. Let's do ice. Ooh. Hey, how come you mega bolted and you weren't hiding in your shell? What was that all about? And I don't have any Phoenix Downs. Ah. Guess I just wait now. This is a great battle. <laughs> this is like super fun, you know? Best of Final Fantasy right here. <laughs> Wonderful. Ha 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 ha. I got you. Let's do an ice beam just for the hell of it. Like, am I supposed to lose this battle? I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. But maybe. So it's usually about two attacks and then it goes away, so we'll see what happens. Yep, there it goes. And now we wait. I love Final Fantasy games. They're so fun. To be fair, I do love Final Fantasy games. This is just a little bit tedious having to wait on it to just show back up. Yep. <laughs> and then not having any way to revive fallen fallen friends. Like, that sucks. Maybe I should just die. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna die and see what happens. At least, if I need to come back, I will not kill my friends. <laughs> oh, it's out of magic. So I can just straight up hit it now. Okay. Well, if it's running out of magic, then yeah, I, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna attack it. Okay, so... Yeah, that, that means it's not invincible. If it has actual magic points, it's not invincible. So I just need to keep going. Yeah, 
especially if it's only gonna counter with like 10 HP attacks from now on. Just, just murder this thing. Whoa, what is that? What did you just do? Hold up, what did he just do to me? He just sent out like a little ghost at me. What just happened? It's probably something to make his like thunder attacks hurt worse, but he's not thunder attacking me. That was weird. I don't like that he's glowing. I don't like it at all. So its hit points are supposedly like 1600, but I have done way more than 1600 damage to it by now. Like, does it only register damage when its head is out of its shell, maybe? Maybe I'm only attacking its shell. Maybe I'm not actually attacking its head. I get that's the thing it'll let me attack. Alright, keep on going. Oh my god, finally, thank you. <laughs> Good grief, I don't know why that took so long. I definitely hit it more than like 16 times doing more than 100 damage each time. So... It must only register damage when its head is outside of its body or something. I don't have any other, like, idea what that could be. Yeah, okay. It does have its shell when it's inside of its shell, and that has a lot of hit points. So I guess that's just what was happening. That was frustrating. <laughs> oh, um... They're still dead! How do I fix them being dead? Jesus. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Does the save point fix it? I don't know. Oh, oh, okay, I can go up this way. It looked like I couldn't. Yeah. Confusing map here. So, this is the frozen Esper. We found it! Do we have to fight it? Or just like, this thing's giving me the creeps. Maybe we just fire at it to let it be okay. Something's not right. To like, unfreeze it or whatever. We just throw fire at it. Ooh, something special going on here. The frozen creature begins emitting an eerie light. Ooh, uh-oh. Where's that light coming from? Ah! What was that? Wedge? Wedge, where are you? H hey, what's going on? Suckers. Um. Um, Tara, are you okay? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Oh! Oh, I can move. I'm awake now. Okay. What's up, dude? Where am I? My, my, and I just removed the crown. My head hurts. And then he just walks away. <laughs> Easy there. This is a slave crown. The others were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts, making it so you do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. In time, that is. A mysterious young woman, 
born with the gift of magic and enslaved by the Gestalian Empire. Terra. Yes, that sounds like a perfect name. Ooh, hey. <laughs> okay, so... Because my arrow keys are also... The... <laughs> the movement keys. Okay, cool. It accepted it just by hitting the select button. Okay. My name is Tara. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must be made of tougher stuff than most. Look at them puppies. They're so cute. I want a puppy. Not really. I don't really want an animal. Open up. We're here for the Magitek Armor Pilot. Open the store right now and hand over that girl. She's an agent of the Empire. Empire? Magitek armor? There's no time to explain. You need to get out of here. These fools aren't going to listen to reason. This way, quickly. How about I just go this way and slowly? Trying to see if he has, like, any secrets in his house or something. Sorry, old man. I'm just trying to rob you. Whoops. I accidentally grabbed an elixir. I didn't really want to rob him, but, you know, everything exists for me. Open this door right now and hand over the girl. She's an agent of the Empire. Okay, time to book it. Make your way out of town through the mines. I'll try to buy you some time. Okay. What if I go... Oh, I can't go down. I'm on a bridge. Up there! Bye, guys! Bye, guys! Gotta run fast. Gotta go fast. Whoa! Okay. Um, let's try fire on these guys. Ooh, definitely not on me. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying... Aha! Okay. So it's like one of the R buttons, R1 or R2, that makes it to where you can target both of them. So... I'm so cool. Anything down here? Nope. Just more battles. Okay. Uh, let's try... But, no, you know, let's try... Uh, attacking. See how well she attacks. Okay, well enough to kill that thing in one shot, so... Let's see about this thing. Not quite one shot, but that's okay. Okay. Gained a level and got a potion. Awesome. Ah, two of these things. Uh, so yeah, I'll just attack both of them. No big deal. These things are weaklings, so it's okay. Make this battle go a little faster. Thank you. I really like that ability to just auto battle. It's nice. Yes, we are going to save. Please, thank you. These guys. Alright, let's see how the were rats are. Oh, they're also pretty easy to kill. That's good. That's real good. Okay, so I wonder if auto battle does attack every time or the last ability you chose. Let's go up here. Ah, good thing I did. Thank you, treasure chest. Phoenix down. Where were you earlier? When I was fighting that stupid snail. 
where was it? It was right in here. And a sleeping bag. Okay, so I can use those as save points to recover everything, I'm sure. Um. Ooh, dying. Oh, cool, but she has a counter. Good deal. Oh no, I forgot that I was on auto battle. Well, that's okay. Let's turn that off for next battle. <laughs> and, uh, use a potion. Uh, 250, 50. We'll just do 50. Oh no, that was all of them. I didn't realize I only had two potions, or I would have only used one. Well, hmm, that's not suspicious at all. Guess I need, like, a lever or something for that. I wonder what this door-shaped weird... Um... Bleh. Not what I wanted. That one. <laughs> what this weird door-shaped section of rock is. Is it a door? No, it couldn't be. There she is! Don't do this, guys. I don't want to murder you. Whoa. Okay, I guess that works. Okay, well, now we're doing weird dreamscape moment, I guess. Ah, memories. Must be memories. My sweet little magic user. <laughs> Wee hee hee hee. Wee hee hee hee. With this slave crown, you'll be all mine. That's a good voice for him. I think that's a good clown voice. Wee hee hee hee. Wee hee 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 hee. Yep, and then she... As, as a slave for these people, she used her awesome abilities to pilot these things. Wee hee hee hee. Good, good. Burn them all to a crisp. Yeah. Um, so yeah, she, she has committed atrocity, atrocities and war crimes and etc. And so people hate her. But she was mind controlled the whole time, so it's not her fault. Soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. We are the Chosen Ones. The time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world. Nothing shall stand in our way. Hurrah, long live Emperor Gaston. Wahaha. Yay, woo, go you, go us. We're definitely not Nazis. What? Okay. So, yeah, that's that's what happened. She was under the control of an evil empire who was trying to take over the world. 